Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit subscribe down below and hit the little bell to turn on notifications so you know when I come out with my new videos each and every Tuesday on buying and selling in Ocean City. So if you're on the fence, and I know a lot of people out there are nervous about buying at the peak of the market, and this is the peak of the market, there is no question about that historically. Um, what happens if you wait a little bit? And there are a lot of factors up in the air right now. We're going to dive into each one. So two things are likely to change over the coming months. Number one, mortgage rates are likely to start to increase. And number two, prices, my opinion, are likely to level out and may come down a little bit. So what does that do for you if you were to buy now versus if you were to wait? And what happens in the best case scenario? What happens in the worst case scenario? So we'll play through those here with this spreadsheet. I have included a link down below um, in the description that you can check this out if you want. You can make a copy of the spreadsheet, save it to your Google Drive, and you can play with it on your own. So one thing I want to mention that's very, very important to this discussion, and there is a misunderstanding, um, and people assume that mortgage rates directly impact and are directly correlated to home prices. That is not the case. There are so many other factors that affect home prices that it would be silly to think that it's just the one. So let's get that out of the way um, and let's dive right in. So mortgage rates, what's gonna happen? So Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, some of the big players out there in the mortgage world project and forecast that mortgage rates on the 30-year conventional loan should hit roughly 3.5% in the first quarter of 2022. So let's say on a $700,000 duplex in this case, what is likely to happen? So these yellow cells, we can play with them. The gray ones are formulas. I've locked them, don't touch them. Um, so the only ones that we're gonna change in these scenarios are going to be the mortgage rate and the price decrease, and we're gonna let the rest roll through. So in a case where, again, let's go worst case scenario here. Let's say we do get to 3.5%, and let's say prices continue to increase another 5%. What's that gonna do for you? So assuming you're putting 20% down, you're now looking at an extra 7K upfront in money you have to bring to the table uh, for a 20% down payment. And you're looking at over $3,000 per year in additional mortgage costs. That hurts. Now, what happens if I'm right, and I don't have a, a crystal ball here, and a lot of what's going into this is uh, speculation. Let's say that prices flatten out but we do still have that mortgage impact. You're looking at an extra 1,800 bucks per year in additional mortgage costs. And that's not nothing, but it's also not killer. So if you haven't found the right home yet and you think it's gonna come and you're not sweating uh, prices continuing to go up, you know, maybe it makes sense to stay on the sidelines and wait. And I would never advise that you buy a home that you don't want ever, so don't do that. But. Let's look at the most, what I believe is the most likely scenario. If we're talking late fall, early winter time, if you wanna see how the next few months play out. If we end up with a, let's hedge a little bit here and say a three and a quarter uh, mortgage rate and a 2% price decrease. So you're looking at 2,800 less in cash you have to bring to the table and an extra 330 bucks per year in additional mortgage costs. So in this case, you know, we're looking at realistically, my opinion, if you're going to own this home for five, 10 years, as most people do, we're looking at a wash. So the moral of this in a nutshell is that in my opinion, if you find the home that you want and you're nervous about paying maybe too much, um, I wouldn't be nervous because realistically, as things play out, if enough, number one, will another home that works and is perfect for you come up? And number two, will it be priced in a way that is better than it would have been now? Who's to say? So as my uh, favorite Peloton instructor, Dennis Morton says, I make suggestions, you make decisions. So my goal here was to get you some clarity of thought around what you want to do, you know, as the market continues to evolve over the next few months. And realistically, this is uh, what I think will happen. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe below, turn on notifications so you get notified when I drop these videos each and every Tuesday. I appreciate you coming by and I will see you on the next video.